Hello, my name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps, Arizona and today we're going to be reviewing the Kelty Grand Mesa 2 tent. So first we're going to be talking a little bit about the features of this tent. I decided to do this uh, tent first because I really don't feel any particular way about it. I think it's a great tent for cold weather. Uh, I think you need a bigger tent with more airflow for hotter weather, but this works great in colder weather, especially in Arizona, like up in the mountains in the winter time where it gets to be about 50 degrees. It works great. So uh, first of all, some of the features that are, there's actually some listed right here in the bag. So. Uh, this is a three season backpacking tent it says. It's got a roll top carry bag which you can see that we have, we do have that actually right here. A full coverage fly which we'll see when we unpack the tent and uh, when we put it up. And a fly vent so we'll see that too when I put it up the tent. And then it says it's got compact folding poles, a Kelty hug clip which is just clips that in order to stake it to the ground instead of uh, little clips. It's got um, actual belt buckle clips to clip it in and then an easy entry door So I would certainly hope it has a door. So the height is three feet seven inches So it's actually a small tent again. You can't stand in this tent. It's only a little higher than this table I'd say it's got a floor plan of a four foot by nine feet by two foot by six Which is on the angle and seven foot by one inch in length and then three feet by eight, so it kind of tapers a little bit into a small tent. Again, this is only a two-person tent, so the weight packed, it says four pounds, 12 ounces, minimum weight, four pounds, one ounce, and that's probably uh, without the rain fly and probably a couple of the stakes. So uh, let's go ahead and weigh it and see how much it weighs and see if that's true. So what does it say? Four pounds, 12 ounces. Let's see what this says. So this says, 2,189 grams for all you people over there in Europe or four pounds 13 ounces and a quarter ounce so it's a little it's a little more than what it says on the bag four pounds 13 ounces fully packed and that's everything in the bag I did not add or subtract anything which comes inside this bag so I'm sure if you remove the rain fly it may get a little but it's gonna it's a little heavy I think it's a little heavy for backpacking four pounds for a, just a two-person tent and in fact it's really you know they say two person but this is really just a one person tent I can fit me a sleeping bag and the dog cage and my gear and then that is it and that's all I can fit in this tent really I, you can't fit anything else so all right so next uh, we're going to be laying out everything on the table uh, and then I'm gonna bring you in closer and again I'm not gonna add or subtract anything so we're just going to lay everything out on the table. I'll bring you in and we'll talk a little bit about it and then I'll go set up the tent and take it down. Okay, so here's the empty bag. Um, and as you can see, there's really not much in the bag itself. You have the tent here. I've put the kind of the tent and the rain fly kind of just laid it on top because we're gonna be taking that out back there doing it. And then I just kind of laid the poles out. These are actually really nice lightweight poles. Let me weigh these actually. They're really lightweight, so if you wanted to do the lightest tent camping and you took away the rain fly, I think this tent would be really light. So the poles are only weigh one pound, one ounce, two ounces. One pound, two ounces maximum. So you get two poles and they're really lightweight. They actually, it looks like they clip together really fast. And then this tent comes with seven, eight, nine, ten stakes. And as you can see, I've actually bent a couple of these stakes already because they're so cheap. So I'd probably recommend going with even lighter weight stakes. You can probably find lighter weight stakes, especially in Arizona. Or in Arizona, you probably don't even need the rain fly, to be perfectly honest. So if you went without the rain fly, it'd probably be even lighter than that. So that's probably what it means by the minimum weight. And then you get some uh, tie downs as well for the rain fly itself. We're going to actually time it from exactly how long it takes me to unpack fully from the bag itself and how to set it up. The only thing I'm going to be adding is this little rubber mallet. It's actually got a really handy hook on the end 
which we're going to need at the end in order to pull the steaks out when we do the takedown. So uh, let's get to it. So I've got my timer. I'm going to set that here. Okay, these are me. All right, let's set the stop bar. Ready? And go. I gotta figure out how to open the door. I think it's over here. Yeah. Let's see if I can I've actually used this tent only one time and it was freezing out. So I was very glad to have this tiny tent. I was very warm inside. So here is the main entrance of the tent. Okay. So now we're going to open the tent, take a look inside. Again, not that big. We're gonna see what we can see in here. I'm gonna put you in first so you can have a little quick look around before I go in there. So you can see we got some pockets on the side. Sometimes these tents come with uh, like a little electric place that you can shove electricity, but it doesn't look like it comes with any of that. I have a couple dead bugs from when I went on that camping trip, I'm sorry. And then as you can see up here, you have a little storage mesh pocket and it looks like Kilty has a separate item where you can purchase something that'll go at the top to make like a little storage net. So again, this is not a very big tent. So let me go ahead and switch you around so that you can see exactly how big it is. Again, it's not that high, so you can't really like get up into it. And what I thought was a storage pouch is actually the vent. I don't know if you could see that there. So you see that that's the vent instead, what I thought was a storage pouch. So this is all mesh all around. So if you took off the rain fly, it might be a little cooler, but it's actually quite hot in here. <laughs> I think I'd be able to fit maybe a sleeping bag in here. I'm not sure, but it's, uh, it's, it's not very big at all. So, uh, as I'm sure you're well aware, uh, even after setting up the tent and taking it down, uh, my camera ran out of battery so so you're only missing a minute of that last little piece where it uh, where I was taking down the tent and I just kind of explained where I did not even have to uh, fold the tent a certain way it just kind of this stuff sack is really nice it's just you can just fold everything and put it into this stuff sack and it'll fit great without having to fold it a certain way or origami it. You know how um, usually you have to fold it exactly the same way that it was packaged at the manufacturing plant in order to get it back in the bag with vacuum seals and everything. And this one, it seemed like they gave you a little bit more room so you have the ability to put it all back into this bag. So I was able to fit everything, even the stakes and everything. You can kind of hear them jingling around in there. So uh, we're good to go. So I'm so sorry my camera ran out of battery. And again, if you like this, there's a lot of pros and cons to this tent. So, and oh, also on my phone here too, I actually, I took a screenshot of it so that you know that I'm not lying. So yesterday, even though the camera stopped working, it took me, six minutes and five seconds to take down the tent so you can kind of see that there 
so it took me six minutes to take it down it was one minute less so that kind of makes sense right because it took us about seven minutes to put up the tent and again since it's such a small tent it does not take nearly any time at all so okay that's all so thank you for watching uh, i'll put some links below so that you know where to buy this tent and uh, i actually bought this tent off of amazon so i'll put that link down below as well so thank you for watching feel free to comment below and i'll see you next time thanks you can see you have to rip open the fly first. Losing or my dog digging over there. Athena!